going on my little peaches and rosemary today we're doing a love reading in the kitchen love reading in the kitchen okay i don't know why i need to do that but we're gonna do a love reading in <laughs> my room the room one I, that i work out of it's so cold and i was like mm, ain't nobody here right now so i was like let's just do a love reading in the kitchen i hope the kitchen don't look too messy I hope it's clean. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to do the overall energy. We're doing in love. Let me get the overall energy for your person. Keep in mind, every piece of the reading may not fit, y'all. Never try to make a reading fit. If it's for you, it will just click. And I want you to be upset with me, the tarot, um, or the world because of a misunderstanding, okay? So let's get into it, y'all. Love, what's going on with you and your person? You and your person. Hey. I love love. Y'all energy, somebody energy feels good. I feel like this is a person, somebody's got somebody coming towards them. Somebody's thinking about coming towards you. Now, how soon they come towards you, I don't know. But I definitely feel like an energy of like, they're excited, there's passion. There's passion. This person is also like, a, they're like, itchy, itchy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this person has a, a very strong sexual attraction to you as well. You may not know this, though. Somebody here that's watching this reading, there's somebody that is making plans to come towards you. And I'm getting, like, divine timing. It will be divine timing. Again, if this is for you, it's for you. If it's not, don't worry about it, okay? But I definitely feel energy for somebody. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to throw you off. It's going to throw you off because I don't think you're expecting it. I feel like you're whoever I'm talking about, though, you're open to it. This is somebody who is open to love. Um, you may have been chilling for a while. I definitely feel like there's an ex for someone who is very attractive. But this is somebody, I'm not talking about somebody who's treating you bad or acting a dumb dumb. That's not what we're talking about, okay? So no need to get all upset. This is somebody who... Um, Maybe y'all broke up for whatever really reason, irreconcilable differences, or they ghosted you, or um, for whatever reason. Some of y'all, now we're not going to get that deep into it today, so let's just go ahead. Overall energy, sweet spirit for love for these people, for what's picking, what I'm picking up for their energy and their love connection. Hey, what we got going on, sweet spirit? All right, let's see, love. Oh my gosh, yo, y'all. I got this to your last love reading. Was it last week or something? The love reading before this, exact same energy. I'm telling you, this is somebody, I'm picking up again on somebody who is open to a partnership. Y'all are both ready. Y'all are both ready. But... I feel like you're not, your focus is not there. Your focus is not there. And I'm looking at happy success. That's looking at me in the face. I pulled this myself. So I know it wasn't something that, you know, I didn't shuffle or something like that. So there's happy success. Is the overall energy for you and um, someone, whoever I'm picking up on today for this reading, okay? Because they're not always going to be the same, and that's okay. We got other readings. I'm always putting other readings out. So let's get let's get it together. What we got going on here? What's going on with you and your person? Let's take a look at your person real quick. Oh, I knew it. I forgot. I forgot my other love cards that I wanted. Bits. And I'm not going to edit. <laughs> I'm not. I may have to go stop for a second and go get them. They're like right around the corner. It's not far, but. Dang it. Okay. Sweet spirit, what's going on with their person? In love. What's going on with their person? She looks clearly. Okay. All right. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, so a third party is now gone. So some of y'all, this is an ex. Or even if it's somebody new who is going to be um, 
coming into your life. This is what they're going through, okay? And this could even be you. So take it as it resonates. But I feel like those of you, whoever it is, somebody is letting go. There's a third party that's gone. I feel like some of y'all, this is for you too. This is for you and the person that's coming in your life or an ex that you have since forgot about. Now, this was not an ex who was mean or a, a, a abusive in any way, okay? In any, yes, I said abusive, in any way, okay? This is somebody that just, there was some type of differences or um, they just ghosted. It was just, you had a lot of growing to do, okay? Some of you, if you know that you're twin flame, I'm not diagnosing this. This is, you know, this is a twin flame, Divine partner for somebody, twin flame, blah, blah, blah. You know, all them crazy titles. But um, when I say, uh, you'd already know. I'm not diagnosing that. Yeah, so somebody is, this This person has deliberately put themselves in hang mode, hangman mode. I feel like this person even has let go of family because I feel like their family was even causing them issues as well. So they're in a in a in a mode right now where they're just chilling. They're just hanging out, healing, being them, doing them, you know, doing what they need to do. This person may even be getting ready to take a trip or they've been traveling or making plans to travel. Somebody wants to experience travel by themselves. They want to see who they are. Somebody is finding out who they are. I think that's what this energy is um, at this particular time. And if you're watching it around, you know, whenever you see it, future people, people, hey, future people, it's a Thomas reading, but the energy is still like the same, if I'm making sense. But I feel like this person is exploring um, and becoming who they need to be, finding out what do I like? Who am I? What do I want to do? Who do I want to be, right? Um, what do I bring to the table instead of worrying about what other be people are bringing to, to the table? What am I bringing to the table? So I guess, and I mean, both is good. You should know what somebody else is bringing to the table. But this person, I think, not that I think what I'm picking up is they used to be like, okay, well, what can you bring to the table? They were looking for some type of, um, they were very materialistic or they thought, materialism <clears throat> they thought materialism was the answer and now all of a sudden i have to clear my throat so this person maybe um they weren't speaking their truth so i definitely yeah 47 45 o'clock so that's come to an end they are now starting to speak the truth they're going after what they want what their needs are um the divine is working on them this was in this deck <laughs> it wasn't even supposed to be i'm using this deck okay so this person wants marriage. Somebody's looking for a serious commitment. <coughs> Again, I got to clear my throat. Somebody wants to communicate with you about marriage. Somebody wants to marry you. All right. If y'all, this is an ex from the past who's come, they want to come back in. They want to marry you. They want to marry you. Others, you, this could be an a-hole ex also. Okay. I could be picking up on their energy as well. And they too want to marry you, but it's too late. You're not interested. So we'll kick person number two over to the side. Person number one is really serious. They're, my water's gurgling. This, this person number, uh, they're very serious. They're very about it, about it. They may be very emotional about it. They may be very, be very emotional when it comes to you. This person is ready to share their emotions. They're ready to be vulnerable. They're ready to win you back, okay? Somebody wants to win you back. Now, y'all, some of this could be a crazy ex, okay? If you don't know somebody, an ex that was kind to you and you guys just kind of drifted off that you think don't, that you think about time to time, maybe dream about time to time, then this is the crazy ex, okay? Either way, pick which one it is. Some of y'all are dealing with two people, okay? But these people want to win you back. Somebody wants to win you back. They don't care what it takes. They're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to let go of things that no longer serve them, which they have. They're willing to let go of people. I feel like this person has let go of a lot. Person number one has definitely let go of a lot. This person has done a lot of healing. I'm hearing it's all for you, but they really did it for you as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. I don't even say a Cancer sometimes, okay? So you could be being one of Pisces or Cancer. This person, though, is highly intuitive. I feel like you two are intuitive or they're very highly empathic or both of you are highly empathic because that's usually how it works. 
the divine is always going to bring two divine people together. He's not going to bring together one divine and one that's, you know, because that's a that's imbalance. Um, but this person too is intuitive like you, or um, I'm also hearing gifted. They either highly gifted, sensitive. I'm picking that up as well. Or you both are very highly empathic, but I'm definitely getting in intuition here. Let's see what's going on with you, sweet P. What's going on with you, sugar? What's going on with the viewer? All right. So, hmm, you, you got the chair. Wow, you got the chair in the in the wheel of fortune. Something is drastically changing in your life. Let's find out what this is. You completed some type of karmic cycle and you're charging ahead. I feel like whatever is going on in your life, you're very clear about what you want. You're very clear about who you will tolerate, what you will tolerate in a relationship, but with what you will not. You have deal breakers. Before you didn't, you let people walk over you, right? You let people be getting away with that okie doke, but not anymore. You're very clear about what you want in love um, and just life in general. But I do definitely see something moving forward where you've cleared a cycle. What's going on with um, what's going on with my Sears? a hopper okay four of pentacles and let me get one more clarify please okay five of pentacles so i feel like right now what you're doing is you're very focused on i feel like budgeting at this time there's some reason you have to budgeting you could be also you may some of someone also has made a business that you are budgeting that you are changing that you are improving okay let's see five of pentacles yeah i feel like you are um you're working on let me see. Clarify that five of pentacles, sweet spirit. Clarify that five of pentacles. Six of swords. Okay. So what's happening for you right now, you're budgeting. You are creating ways to get yourself out of some type of debts or poverty. Um, you're moving away from that. You're letting go of baggage. So you might be being more right now. I feel like your focus, whoever I'm talking to today and picking up on is your focus is more so your financial future. Where do you see yourself in the future? Um, you already know, or you have an idea or you're trying to make plans and you're moving out of this energy. I feel like that's what part of your karmic cycle was about. So I would not be surprised with these types of cards. There's some type of finances coming in towards you. Let's take a look. It could be being brought to you by a king of cups. Okay. Some of you, this could be maybe even a child support that's owed to you or something like that. Back child support I'm hearing. But there's somebody that's bringing in something to you, looks like. Hmm. I don't know if they really got anything to offer you, though. That's the thing. Why do I get the feeling that this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some of you? doesn't have to be. It could be a father figure, father of your children, something of that nature. Um, but there's something about this individual that's helping you somehow get out of some type of bondage and poverty that you're in. So I see you moving away. Like you've been, you're working on a way, you're holding on, you're budgeting. Um, but I also see help. I feel like, I just feel like this person is coming in to help you somehow. I don't know how. Okay. Let me see how you feel about this person. I feel like that's somebody else. Yeah, that's somebody else for y'all. That could be person number two. Give me some more ideas, Divine. What's going on with them with love? Their love situation? Yeah, I saw the magician card didn't come out. So I feel like you, you're, I feel like you feel like you want love. You've reached out. Four, four, four and o'clock to, to the divine for love, 
for some type of connection. You have a protected connection, but I don't know if that's your focus right now, but I don't think that you're closed off to it. Some of you are indecisive though, because there's something else going on in your life that you want to straighten out. I feel like there's something else you're focused on right now. You'll know what that is better than I do. Tell me more what they're doing here. Three of swords. Hmm. Some of you are closing out a cycle. Those of you who have a person number two or two people and you have a person number two, hope I'm making sense. You're closing out a cycle with somebody. This is a permanent ending, I feel, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords. This is permanent, but there's a strong attachment. There's some type of strong karmic connection here. You may have maybe knew this person maybe a few lifetimes or something, or there's something really significant. You guys have children together, or this was your high school sweetheart, or this was your first, something like that. But there's a tight bond between here, but you're closing out a cycle. Yeah, this person feels trapped. This person feels trapped. And yeah, they feel trapped because you're going forward. You're starting off somewhere else. They know it too. They know you're going towards somebody else. I don't know how they know it, but they know. Some of you, if you talk to this person, then they know. It's somebody y'all in your circle or somebody they've seen before or something. But they know something. They know this person. Some of you just, they could have been getting readings on you, found out energetically. Or it's just common sense to know somebody going to get somebody else a thing with you. Boo. Come on. I mean, they just going to do it. Yeah, I'm hearing threatened. So this person feels worried about that. Because again, you've got the page of wands. You are going forward. I don't think you know that you got love coming in. Because love is not your focus right now. I don't even know why you're watching this reading, boo. You're probably just watching for entertainment. Thanks for watching, though. Hey. Um, and if you want more, I do mem uh, have memberships in the link links below. Three different ones to choose from, and I do personals as well. But, yeah, you're going forward here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer because we're just kind of getting into it, and we're already 17, 33 minutes in. So, yeah, definitely a new beginning, I feel. And I want to say somebody's about to come into some type of abundance. I think it's you that's watching, though. So I'm going to finish up on a love portion on the other side. Um, you can click any one of the memberships below. There are three to choose from. Either one of them, you will find this the second part of this reading. And other than that, um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to find me again, hit that subscription button. And I'll see you in a moment. Namaste. See you on the other side.